All right, so uh, I have a problem. Uh, I think the problem is pretty obvious. I have way too much light. Heading over to grab some burritos right now because uh, it's my birthday. And when it's my birthday, we eat breakfast burritos as a rule. Also, don't vlog and drive. Now, there are a couple of ways of solving this problem of too much light. Number one, we could just increase our shutter speed like this. Got a nice smooth image. The problem with that is if you check out the motion now, watch my hand. It looks a little bit weird and not quite real. So the second method would just be to choke down the iris or if you're in the photo world, the aperture. But the problem with doing that is then we lose that nice creamy blurry background. Now on the super wide angle lens, you're not really getting that much bokeh anyways, but it still affects your image and in a way that I don't really love. So my go-to to fix this problem is an ND filter, which I've got right here. So I do pretty much all my professional client work on Sigma lenses. I use the 2470 and 18 to 35, and those are all very large lenses with very big filter sizes. So I have a couple of ND filters ready, but they're both for that really large filter size. I'm using this tiny little 10 to 18 for my little YouTube video stuff. So I need a smaller ND filter for that, which I got right here. This is a brand new neutral density ND filter. So I guess this is kind of like an unboxing initial impressions. I'm literally just sitting in the parking lot of uh, one of the best burrito places in town. Injectors, straight fire, go try them. But anyways, package, plastic, whatever. Nice little cleaning cloth here. And here's the box, k &F Concept. Kind of like a budget brand and they make a bunch of things like I have their tripod, the other ND filters and stuff. They're not the highest quality. If you want something really good, get Polar Pro, go get Peter McKinnon's filter. However, their stuff in my experience has been great bang for the buck. Nice little frosted plastic case. Popping this open. I don't know which way it opens. And we have one little tiny plastic wrap filter. All right, and three, two, one. Another great benefit of using the ND filter instead of just like messing with the aperture or shutter speed is that it's just right here on the front of the lens. So instead of having to reach behind and mess with all the settings, just reach up here while I'm carrying the camera and adjust it, get the perfect exposure, boom. Again, this is a pretty cheap ND filter, cost me like 40, 50 bucks. Um, so I'm not expecting like the most insane optical quality, but for the price on this inexpensive lens, it feels pretty nice, it seems to look pretty good. Obviously, I have to let you know once I see the actual footage, um, but I think it's a great thing for your book for the video stuff. So. Anyways, that's my little unboxing first impressions of the KNF Concept variable ND, two to 400. I think that's equivalent to like two to eight stops or something. Anyways, I'll let you know in the future if I like it and it keeps working for me, but I'm gonna go eat some burritos.